球忙不通手。可以通手球。球落啦。好嘞。球等着好吧，拍过来。呀，球等着撒下看，专门做了拍照的。看着，呃，拍来拍过来。呀，拍了，他还给我说一呢，龙巴他看专门做了，很多还拍照的。那这拍了多少呀？这球等着没得个。到底看哈公门了，出动了，呀，我说啥子？ You have just witnessed the dream of a little Tibetan girl to get back to Tibet. But that's not only her dream. That is also the dream of many other Tibetan people who still seek for freedom and the chance to return to their homeland. But will their dream ever be able to come true? It's possible, but it's easier said than done. In 1949, China's dictator Mao Zedong planned to invade Tibet after months of failed negotiation. This plan succeeded and led to the destruction of Tibet. Countless numbers of Tibetans were killed by the Chinese armed forces during the invasion. The responses from China were immediate and brutal. Monasteries had been destroyed, and monks were being evicted. In the wake of the horrific invasion, the Dalai Lama, Tibet's spiritual and sartorial leader, emigrates his sacred homeland, seeking political asylum in India. Despite many years after Chinese occupation, there are all sorts of restrictions for religious practices practiced by Tibetans in Tibet. China literally wants to eliminate the Tibetan culture and heritage. It looks like the history and culture of Tibet is deteriorating slowly but surely. To detain them, many Tibetans have found new ways of protest against the oppressive Chinese regime. Hundreds of Tibetans have burned themselves alive, believing that self-immolation would raise more awareness of the current situation in Tibet. This is a very harsh way of protesting, but at the same time, one must say that they are not hurting other human beings. We, the Tibetans, dream of a free Tibet, but is there still hope for us to ever return back to our homeland? Tibet is burning, and the world is watching.